happy here i'm happy to see you guys and i know you guys are happy to see me because we it's been a long week actually as i'm shooting this video the whole massacre that went on in the country just happened yesterday as in today's wednesday just happened yesterday tuesday so the air is still not so good there's tension yani <sighs> but i hope you guys have been good i hope you guys have been keeping safe if you encountered any loss during this period i'm so sorry i hope you take heart and to everyone else please keep safe please keep safe as the neonatis do they've deployed military bro zakai is supposed to address the nation very soon so i'll keep checking on that acha tuongoje tusikie atasema nini cuz what was that he said yesterday anyway let's put that aside and start the video officially so hi guys if you're seeing this face for the first time hi welcome to my channel my name is Diana Nasambu here we do a bunch of things but currently i'm in my story time era so yeah come with me it's a journey it's a movie trust me and if you're returning returning subscriber or viewer or supporter in whatever way thank you so 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 much for always supporting me and me i am so 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 grateful the ones now let the story <coughs> begin so hadithi 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 njo ah uh nindo -uh. mnafaa kujibu hadithi njo you guys are supposed to reply hadithi njo so hadithi hadithi Mm -hmm. So this story happened when I was still in campus and you guys understand my share campus. If you're not an Apple baby, ile brokenness inakutwanganga huko, my friend. Alafu mzazi anakutubia 1000 for a whole month. Eh, what you depend how am I supposed to survive on that? A girl was beyond broke. Anyway, so this fine Sunday I just got home from a very long weekend of fornicating with my then boyfriend. Then I get a call from this friend of mine and she's like, "Oh, Daddy, uh, where are you? Are you coming to cuz I have a job for you." And remember how you're dealing with a broke person. You're talking about a job. So which job? I was born ready. Pin location. I am ready. She's like, "Oh, if you're able to make it to this club in Rongai at this time in the next actually it was in the next I don't know 10 minutes or 15 minutes if you're able to make it to this club then you can fill up for me cuz Mimi I'm too far and they're looking for someone who can do this job so I recommended your name I was so happy I was like hey god thank you for blessing me with such friends Mimi and fake friends atupatani mahali because my friends are good they recommend jobs for me god thank you so 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 much thank you Jehovah Jireh we have a living god who must be seen must to rise arise and shine Yeah. And cuz I'm also a good friend, I remembered my other best friend, my then best friend. She was also jobless. We were both hustling. Any Michelle could at Tuanga left right center everywhere. My other friend now who had recommended this job for me had told me you could come with a plus one cuz the many the better. So I quickly pick my phone and I'm like, "Yo, babe, uko wapi? I just found a job that we can go do it together." She was also excited like, "Hey, I'm ready. I was born ready. Where is the job? Let's go." At this time it was around, I guess, four in the evening of almost five. So mimi huyo cuz I'm employee of the year. I don't want to be late for my first day at work. Mbio mbio, I check a motorbike shop to the place. At that time my best friend had also taken a motorbike from her place to the place. So we met there. We actually arrived at the same time excited for the job dress code was black so yeah in black we are ready we get in the club and we meet other ladies that had already arrived sis yao tukaka we just wait for the manager to come or is it the supervisor to come and give us the way forward guys kalamba down i'm not even exaggerating when i say that when this supervisor walked in i could just tell he did not like me and we made eye contact and i could just feel like mm -hmm. the energy in Mekata and when i looked at everyone else it's like he didn't want me to be there it's like i was different from yeah did he did not like me and this was my first time doing any club job or any promo job so maybe i didn't know what's the criteria kodi ukubu da tumia criteria gadi kuchagua watu i did not know i was clueless i had just been called to do a job and i was here i didn't even know the job description so maybe i didn't know they were looking for any specific kind of girl something i came to later realize is that easy cuz it's a promo job it's either your light skin or your dark skin na matako kubwa at that time you see this you see this me ash this it was nothing i was so slim i think i was 44 kilograms yeah so maybe ni mkonde na ni mweusi diabolical catastrophe kadi hamtaki employee of the year do you know how fast i've gotten here na di you are you here hapa mbele alafu don't provoke me to anger right now i am here for a job and i will do this job i don't care whether you like me whether i fit the criteria if you want to hate me from afar do it i decided to ignore him and pretend like i couldn't see the eyes he was giving me as long as you're not sending me home 
you're not telling me directly that this is not you're not what we are looking for then bro i'm here to earn my money and go back to my bed sitter well, wait, do your job and go back to whatever house you're going to okay she explains to us our different roles then hands us these attires that we are supposed to wear for the night because eh. remember as i said i'm 40 something kilograms and this time we had been told to come dressed in black so whatever outfit i had worn at least it'll quite many feature feature so i don't look exactly mkonda but when he gave us these attires to go change my friend <laughs> I think he even hated me 10 times more because uh, it can reveal the true bones, the true nature of my body. The skinny in me just pure, a billboard. If I find those pictures, I might try to attach them. And you've been watching me for a very long time. You know, I've done this story before and I attached the pictures. So you remember how I was looking. Yet the collar bones, because it has just the marasmus of washoko. With... Oh my god, with a very bad wig because I was trying to look like an adult. At least Miss Kem Dogo Sana. So I came with a wig. Synthetic in a chopper. I look oh my god, I looked kienyo. <laughs> Kunza, I remember I had worn a bra to at least try to lift the boobs you get at tunyama to dogo to dogo. But he saw me and he was like, How can you put a bra? Uh, and you're wearing an off shoulder. So he's like, no, go and remove it. I'm like, eh, budataka kudibaliza. Budataka kudibaliza. So now front is flat, back is flat, and the area is flat. Eh. To add salt to injury, I am dark skin. I was feeling so out of place. Because my best friend has a big ass. Other girls, either they are light skin or they also have fat asses. So I just look like the odd one out. I was trying so hard to fit in. I'm trying so hard to relax. At even at some point, I'm like, the end at home. But I'm like, I need this money. So I need to stay. Kidogo, kidogo, the job began. And this was a nightmare for me. So now we are dealing with drunkards and rowdy men. It was so annoying. Huh. And something about me, when I'm around people that I'm not really comfortable with, I am so quiet. I have very bad social anxiety. So I'm, I've been put in a place where the drunkards and rowdies, so I'm, I'm just like, hey, God, what, what am I supposed to do here? I'm trying my best to promote whatever alcohol we are promoting to these drunkards, how on ski. You go to a table full of men and women, the women look at you like, Juchini, as if you want their men, like, bro, relax. First of all, I do not want a very rowdy man and I do not want a drunk man. I am here to work only. Some of them are even talking to you via buyer. Some of them are harassing you. Guys, it was so, so, so bad. And when I look at my best friend, my best friend really knows how to talk to people. Yeah, Hannah, anxiety or anything. So she's having a good time. Some of the men are even hitting on him, on her. Uh, they're giving her tips. Some are even like, you know, admiring her ass. Nanini, she's just having a good time. Maybe I'm just looking at her like, eh, my friend. <laughs> having a very, very hard time. At some point, it became so bad. I had to go to the bathroom to have a mental breakdown. And tell me why. This ugly man of a supervisor he sends uh one of the girls to come and look for me like oh you've left your spot hanging there's no one there what are you doing in the bathroom and i'm like i'm having a mental breakdown i'm having a very bad time so i call my best friend in the bathroom i tell her eh hey, what are they paying me are they paying me millions to tolerate all these <laughs> I love my place. Let me go back to my bed sitter and sleep. God will provide. But remember, Uku, my best friend is just having a good time. It would be sway too, but I call like, yeah, she's just having a good time. Maybe these men are harassing me. I am not having a good time. I am tired. I cannot use my phone. Since the music is too loud, any drunk men are just, eh. Bye. My best friend tries to convince me, like, ah, oh, just stay. Uh, we only have a few more hours left because maybe it was around one and we're supposed to leave at three or something. So she's like, oh, just wait because um, we already came, you used your money. So it wouldn't make sense if you just let all that go. So just stay. She managed to convince me. So I was like, you know what? Let me give it a chance. Let me stay. And you think it got better? Here, yeah, Uko cover it was Jehanam. It even got worse. But each time I tried giving up, I just remember the money. D, the money. And you're almost done. So, Vumilia. So, I Vumilia, I just keep fake smiling, entertaining drunk men, trying to act like I'm okay. But deep down, I am suffering. We work, we work, and it was finally time to leave. I think we even extended because we were supposed to leave at 3. We left at around 4.30, almost 5. 
So I take a border again with my own money. With my own money, it's unsafe to live alone as a girl, even to kwenda kwa nyumba. But at this point, I didn't care. I just wanted to get home because eh, idi kazi gani ni litiwa. And this supervisor told us, at first, the agreement was after the job is done, they're going to pay us. But after we were done with the job, angoza wa tulipe, it's like, oh no, uh, the, the manager or who hasn't sent the money yet, but she'll send it in the morning, so... I'll send you guys in a few hours because it was already morning. So tunangoja to maybe 9 or 10. Na pesa zimeingia. So <laughs> I was waiting for that. I'm excited because then it will compensate for all the hard time I had in the club. So I'm like, yeah, take your time, baby. We'll wait. Whatever whatever time you want to pay, it's fine. We'll wait. So we'll go home, sleep, and wait for the money. I wake up in the morning. I check because I'm just ready to, you know, see. M-Pesa confirmed you've received nothing. Seven, nothing eight nothing nine nothing ten nothing nashanga eh kodi mtoli tufadisha kazi ya missionary my friend do i look like a missionary anywhere to you is missionary written anywhere on my face because i don't see bbc yodi i call my best friend to ask labda wa matako wali labda wa matako wali to be wa babema i don't know nothing i call other girls that i had met there nothing we waited guys to date when am i recording this video 25th I'm only 26th. I don't know whatever date it is. June 2024. This guy has never paid us. And we kept asking and asking. It even became like we were begging for our own money. Literally. This guy never paid us. After all that that I endured. Even when I wanted to go home. Do you need the money? Stay. So I did that all for nothing. Since that day. That was the last. And I mean the last promo job I ever did. It was my first and last. Maybe not promo job. <laughs> I surrender can never be me. It's not like they chest me. It's not like they don't love me. They will welcome me with two hands. So Bibi and promo jobs uh, mm, are such a bad experience for me. You know, each time I see promo girl, it just reminds me of that night. That was the most terrible night of my life. Eh, Bibi promo girls, I respect you. And I, I know a lot of girls in Nairobi started as promo girls. If you kept going, eh, eh, I respect you. Igwe. Anyway, that has been my short story just to ease the mood after Manda Mano. Interesting stories are coming. So thank you so much for watching my video and see you in my next video. Bye!